Welcome to the University of Illinois. If you're watching this, you may be a fellow college student like me. You could have just figured out that you got into the University of Illinois, and if that's you, congratulations. Or you could just be someone that likes watching college days in their life. And no matter where you are, welcome. Today, I'll be taking you along with me on a day as a student at the University of Illinois. I'm currently a junior studying psychology and advertising, and I can't wait to spend the day with you. Let's get started. Alexa, play songs by Lauren Daigle on Spotify. Where are you now when darkness seems to win? Honestly, could be from Target. I think I got them from Christmas one year. This shirt, I think I thrifted. Basically, we're learning, I didn't know where I got any of this stuff. And then my jacket is from H&M that my mom got and then decided that she didn't want. Earrings, gold hoops. Now I'm going to do my hair, straighten it, and put on a little makeup, and then make some breakfast. Look up, child Speaking breakfast, I was thinking about one of the things that really changed the game for me in college was moving out of the dorms. All of my life, people have been like, Caroline, you're gonna love college. Like, college is gonna be so good for you. It's gonna be really fun. And then I got to college and I was like, I hate this. Like, I love my classes, but I feel so lonely in the dorms. And so freshman year was kind of rough for me, but then sophomore year, I moved into an apartment with two of my best friends. And that totally changed the game. Like I loved living with my friends. I loved having my own space, but at the same time having common space. I loved being able to cook, be able to clean, being able to care for a home. So there's hope if you have a rough start that maybe dorm living just isn't for you or wherever you're living, if you're living at home in community, if you're in an apartment, shake things up your next year because maybe that's not for you. I'm gonna eat my breakfast. Um, normally when I eat my breakfast, I do Wordle and Bursal and Connections and the mini which I do on my phone, so I can't film them, but I'm gonna do that, and then we're gonna walk to work. My walk to work is one of my favorite parts of the day. It's just a nice way to get my blood flowing in the morning. It's a little bit of a hike, maybe around 30 minutes to work, but I can take the bus when it's cold. The bus is a little bit unreliable, but for the most part, it's good, and I would recommend using it if you have to go a really far distance. Um, I work at the research park, which I love my job. I work for the internal team. The research park is an area on campus where there are 
a bunch of corporations and startup companies that hire students for internships and full-time jobs. And I really love working here. So I was there for six hours that morning. I do social media and communications, so a lot of writing emails, writing news posts, all sorts of things. And yeah, this is a little bit in the intern office, yet a little behind the scenes. I just left work and I'm on my way to class now. I have two classes today. I have badminton and then I have designing and managing organizations, which is a business management class. But I need to buy a lock, like a combination lock for my locker at the ARC. I've been leaving my backpack and my computer and work clothes and everything in the locker and not locking it. So I feel like I need to actually buy a lock. But they do sell them at the ARC for $6. Cash, so hopefully I can get that today before class and then I'll have that class and then I'll go to my next class and then I may have a meeting. I may have that meeting, but if not, I just get to go home and eat dinner and then it's time to start homework for the day. If I could buy a um, combination lock. A combination? Yes. I just made it home after a 10 hour day. I find that freshman year and sophomore year too a little bit, my schedule looked a lot more like Swiss cheese where I would have a block of things and then come back to my apartment and have, go have a block of things and then come back. And like, I was in and out a lot. This year in particular, it's like I'm gone for 10 hours and then I'm back for the rest of the evening. Today was a day like that where it was very much a chunk of being gone. I may go to the music building to study or somewhere else that's not too far away, but is still gets me out of the apartment. I do have readings to do tonight, but first things first, I'm packing my backpack. I did most of that already, but I have my lunchbox still, and then we're gonna make some tacos. <music> So gross. Why'd they put French fried onions on the top? I don't think it'd be bad. People. This is what white people eat, yes. Well, wonder what white people eat. Yeah, they put green beans in it, gross. Oh, that looks so bad. Well, they didn't put mashed potatoes on it. Who thinks that that's a good angle for a picture? I like how it's in like a bread pan. It's a casserole dish. Oh. So don't act like you try it. It's delicious. Big pots are way better for breakfast. Okay. Like if you have breakfast. That looks so much better. Too many things that are awesome. Can I see everyone's pictures? No. Because look at put images. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, now we look up horseshoes. What are horseshoes? <laughs> What is this? Is French fries with, with like It's toast with hamburger, with cheese, with French fries, and nacho sauce. It basically did that one doesn't look good. Basically they don't know how to cook. Hello. I've been doing readings for the past mm -hmm. hour or so um, since I stopped hanging out with my roommates and I've gotten some progress made. I haven't been super productive because I'm tired, but it's 7.45 and I'm kind of feeling ready to get ready for bed. I already put my pajama top because I need to be cozy. Um, I'll just wash my face get a snack and get in bed with a book because I'm kind of tuckered out after today. And tomorrow I'm going to a coffee shop in the morning and we'll have like an hour and a half there to get work done. So I'm sort of like, well, I don't have anything that's urgent to do. So I might as well read in bed. I'm doing readings for my psychology class and I'm actually really enjoying them. They're the sorts of things that I would have been interested in as a kid. And of course, as a kid, I wouldn't have had the brain capacity to read something like this. I used to track the growth of my cousin's kids and I, that's what made me want to be a psychologist. And so doing these readings about like attachment styles are making me remember little Caroline and how right now I'm studying what she studied like in her free time. Like I did this stuff for fun. And that's something that's really cool about college is we can dive deeper into these interests that are super niche that we have when we're in middle school and elementary school and high school and now like my entire education is all of these things that I enjoyed when I was young which is something that's super cool no matter where you go to college you can do that and I think that's an important thing to remember um, if you are in college that like yeah do I not really want to read this 20 page research paper about attachment styles yeah but little Caroline would look at me and think it's so cool that this is my homework, that I get to do this for my education. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight of what it's like to be a student at the University of Illinois. If you just got accepted, congratulations. I know the acceptance letters recently came out, so congratulations if you were accepted. And if you come here, I hope you have a good experience, but remember that Sometimes it takes a while to get to that point. So if you start off and it doesn't feel great, that's okay. Give it time, be patient, persevere. I'll be here on YouTube making Illinois content for at least another year. So if you enjoy it, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. You can follow us on Instagram at Lifestillis and I will see you in our next video.